Hi boys and girls, welcome to another great day of learning. Wow, Max and I, we were just talking about how today's a busy day. Outside our special classroom, the utility workers are still working on uh, their job putting the new pipe in the ground. They have been working a really long time on that and they work all day long. It'll be after dinner before they're finished. Wow, they've been working hard. Oh, I uh, they got to see the tweet about their work and the company. They said, way to go. They were really excited that we enjoyed their job. So that was great that we got to share our learning with some people. Max wants to come on over and check the schedule. Today, we are going to learn about something new in the ocean. But first, we're going to have calendar time. Uh -huh. And when calendar time is finished, it's time to read a book. Oh, we're going to read some more pages in our very big book about the ocean. Max, go ahead and do your body check and I'll do mine too, okay? Put your listening ears in. Mm -hmm. Put your looking eyes in. Mm -hmm. Put your brain in. Mm -hmm. We are ready to learn, learn, learn. Well, first off, before we get our calendar board out, I have to share with you some exciting news. Yesterday, Miss Boyd, Miss Beckham, and I, we went back to our regular school, the big school, and everything's going okay there. Yes, the room is still there. Our teacher friends are still there. Yes, our room is okay. And we got to check the garden. Oh, do you want to see what we found out? Let me show you. Ah, look, our vegetables were growing while we were at our special school. Let me show you. We had our cabbages. Our cabbages are growing. Look. There's the middle of the cabbage and the leaves are on the outside. Oh, here's where it was growing in the ground and I had to cut it. Yeah, I washed it some this morning. Yeah, it's our cabbage. I remember how we ate cabbage um, for Happy New Year time in January. You remember how you cooked it? You took a leaf of the cabbage and you tore it into little pieces and then we cooked it in the microwave and we added butter and salt and it made it taste really good. Yeah. Um, you know what, now that it's starting, it's May and it's starting to get warm, something that people like to eat with cabbage is called coleslaw. And it's where you tear it up in little, little, little tiny pieces and you mix it with mayonnaise and probably some sugar because we like our coleslaw a little sweet around here um and maybe some carrots it's really good you know what what if i use one of these cabbages for cooking at my house yeah if um if i cook with it i'll take a picture okay and i'll show you what i made with it okay so we had one really big cabbage that came from the garden and we had a cabbage that was a little smaller and then we had the smallest cabbage of all. Okay, now, that was really cool that we had cabbage. Let me tell you something else. Do you remember that we were growing potatoes in that new way under the straw? Well, Miss Boyd and I, we looked under the straw and then Miss Boyd started digging and look what we found. A potato! We grew a potato! <laughs> Yay! That was so exciting! We definitely have to grow more vegetables in our garden when we get back to the big school. Yes, we are going to definitely grow more potatoes next year. Oh, maybe we should grow sweet potatoes too like potatoes that are white on the inside and potatoes that are orange on the inside. That would be so fun. Um, I don't know. We should think about more things that we could grow. Wow, isn't that exciting? Oh, and I forgot to tell you something. Miss Boy took a picture, so she'll send it to me. Um, and I'll share it with you. The 
You remember how we had the big orange pumpkin in October near Halloween? And when Halloween was finished, we put our pumpkin out in the garden and it changed. And remember that special word we used to talk about it's changing? It decayed. It totally changed. It got flat and smushy and then it turned white and it just totally changed. It's changing again. It's growing new pumpkin plants. The seeds that were inside the pumpkin are growing new pumpkins. Ah, that is so exciting. We saw all the way around what happens. We had the pumpkin, it decayed, it changed, and now it's growing again. Yay! That's why I love our garden because something is always happening in it. Oh, and you know what else? Miss Boyd saw this too, and I saw this too. There's even a bug living in our garden. Yeah, the garden is now becoming a habitat, a home for bugs. Oh, how? Some bugs are really good bugs in the garden and some bugs we're going to want to find a new house for them, a new habitat. Wow, isn't that exciting? Yay for us. We got to harvest our garden. Way to go. Hey, I saw some pictures of how you're growing your plants at home. A friend has beans growing and another friend has tomatoes growing. If anything is happening with your seeds at home, show me. I would love to see that. Yay for us. Okay, that was exciting news. Let's keep talking about our month. And we know that the month is May. Yesterday was Thursday and Thursday is finished. Today is Friday. Wow, we've had one, two, three, four, five great days of learning. Let's find out also how many days we have in May. Okay, so yesterday we had seven days. We need the number that comes after seven. Does anyone know what number that is? It's the number eight. Wow, we have eight days in May. We have been talking about the special day that's coming up. Yesterday it was three days and we have to find out how many days left. Um, it's our special Mother's Day where we get to tell our mamas, Happy Mother's Day, I love you. Or you give your mama a hug or you could pick her a flower. She would love that. Um, you could sing her a song or draw her a picture or write her a card. Ugh. Hey, I can't wait for our moms to feel super, super special. They are so, so awesome and we love them. We want them to feel special. Okay, like I said, there was three days yesterday until Mother's Day. Let's see how many days are left now. One, two, no way. There's only two days until Mother's Day. We started at four days, and then it was three days, and now it's two days until Mother's Day. Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited. So, let's say goodbye to May. Yep. We're going to have a fabulous Friday. It's going to be really, really good. Hey, Max, come on over and check the schedule. Today, calendar time is finished. Now it's time to read a book. Okay, guys, you know how we have been talking about words from the ocean. And this week we learned about the really, really big salty water called the ocean. And ah, we learned, look, I'm under the word board. I'm under. We learned about a fish, uh-huh, and the fish has parts. It has a tail, uh-huh, and it has fins, and its body is covered in scales, and it helps it to swim and live in the water. All of the fish, all of the parts of a fish help it to live in the water. 
Today, we're gonna learn about another fish that lives in the ocean. Mm -hmm. This fish, we like to talk about it at school because sometimes people are wearing shirts with this animal, this fish, on their shirt. In fact, this week I saw someone share their learning with me and they had this fish on their shirt. So, you wanna find out what it is? Okay, we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at our special book, um, Wonders of the Ocean by Daniel Shepard and the publisher was Steck Vaughn. This fish has lots and lots and lots of really sharp teeth. You want to find out? I bet you know what it is, don't you? Because there's a song about this fish that we love. It's a shark! We're learning about sharks today! Yeah! So the sharks, they live in the ocean too. Mm -hmm. And I had to do some research because I needed to find out more information about sharks. And let me share with you what I learned. I learned that sharks have really, really sharp teeth. And guess what, guys? I found this information out. I found out when you're a little kid like us that you have about 20 teeth in your mouth. And then when you become an adult, like your mom and dad and teachers, you have about 32 teeth in your mouth. Sharks have about, can have as many as 3,000 teeth in their mouth. You know what? Let me write those numbers down just so we can even see how big those numbers are. Okay, let me get a marker out of the bucket. Okay, so right now for kids, you have about 20 teeth in your mouth. That's the number 20, okay? For grown-ups, we have about 32 teeth, 32 teeth in our mouth. Okay, a shark can have as many as 3,000 teeth. That's a lot of numbers in 3,000. 3,000 teeth. Yeah, and their teeth look a little differently than ours. Their teeth are very sharp. Ooh, it helps them eat their food. Their teeth are very sharp. And like we have teeth on the top and teeth on the bottom. I learned when I was reading more information that they can have five rows of teeth in their mouth. Oh, can you imagine if the Tooth Fairy came to their house? <laughs> they would have a lot of money. Look at that. Wow. Now, I still see the parts of a fish. I still see that they have, they have fins. Uh-huh. And they have a tail. Mm -hmm. And that helps them to swim in the water. Yeah. I was really surprised when I learned more information that sharks can have 3,000 teeth. Okay, I, we've never seen anything that's 3,000. The most we've seen is our bag of Q-tips and there's a thousand in there. We'd have to have three bags of Q-tips to get as many teeth as a shark. I also learned that girl sharks are usually longer than boy sharks. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Hey, what if we sing a fun song about a shark, okay? We can do our hands like this, like this is the shark mouth, and we're gonna go chomp, 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 because they have a lot of teeth. They probably go chomp, chomp, chomp a lot. You ready? Here's a picture of a shark for our word board, and look at its teeth. Whoa, those are sharp. Oh, that's a good describing word, sharp. Our teeth are kind of smooth on the bottom, but a shark's tooth is pointy. Oh, they're pointy and they're sharp. Hey, sharp 
smooth, pointy, good describing words. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pretend that this is a shark. Okay, we're gonna say chomp, chomp, chomp. The sharks in the ocean go chomp, 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 chomp. The sharks in the ocean go chomp, chomp, chomp all day long. Do it one more time, okay? Get your arms out. You could also, we use that, that uh, to sing our baby shark song. This would be a good day to sing a baby shark song. Ready? The sharks in the ocean go chomp, 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 chomp. The sharks in the ocean go chomp, chomp, chomp all day long. Okay, guys, today we're talking about sharks. So that means that you can make a shark at your house too. I just used paper. Ah! to make a big shark um, and look I made his mouth and I put lots of triangle teeth in it I used my shapes I cut lots of triangles and I put them in his mouth <laughs> and look he's in the ocean water so today you make a shark you make a shark however you want to you might want to draw a picture of a shark you might want to make one with paper you might want to paint a shark I can't wait to see how sharp your shark teeth are in that you have today okay so guys have a great day today making sharks with lots of sharp teeth. Yeah. Hey, Max, come on over and check our schedule. Today, guys, we read a book and learned more about sharks. And I'm always going to remember how a shark has lots and lots of sharp teeth. Special activity time is finished. It is time to say goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. Have a great day.